This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Yes Home. Yes Home. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is a new house update. So here, behind me here, you see the green plaid. Yeah, I name it Plaid Thai. <laughs> plaid Thai. Plaid Thai. Okay, Plaid Thai. Yeah, Plaid Thai. That's it. Okay. Anyway, here, guys, see it. Finally, holy crap, man! I have to tell you guys that we bought this land almost two years ago. Uh, around uh, April, May 2021. Uh, so what the heck? It took two years just to get this far. Well, long story. There's been some delays, some misunderstandings, some mistakes from someone. And then, wait, what is this? We have Burmeister. Yeah, yeah, Burmeister. Okay, whatever. Okay. Anyway, so yes, this is what it's going to be like. So we have a little bit over 1,000 square meters of uh, land and this section here uh, three meter wide is public space and then six meter wide over there is also public space so this would be the entrance a little sl a slight downhill like this slope and then the the garage 50 square meters a double garage would be over here and then here is where the house will be and you see that there's a slope here so uh, we will have to make like a, a little wall there, barrier or something like that. And then let me see. So the house is two stories tall and uh, roughly 270 square meters. And then there's some kind of plastic here. I'm not sure if I should be walking on this, but okay. So they have uh, uh, starting to level some of the stuff here. It's Idehu's who's is building here. So let me see. So uh, when you saw this before, it was like unprocessed. Uh, now they have started digging and stuff. So since last time, actually, and they started doing some groundwork before Christmas last year. Uh, we got the permission finally, but then they, the municipality retracted their permission because some neighbors, I guess they realized that uh, we started building and they, uh, maybe they didn't like the layout of everything. And I'm not sure which, okay, which one of you mother truckers uh, complain, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but some of the neighbors apparently complain that the house here would be a little bit too dominant and block for the light. Well, I mean, you can already see that that neighbor over there is kind of blocking for our light. I mean, it's gonna happen anyway, right? Uh, but at least Idehu is they pointed out that our house would be 11 meters away from some of the neighbors, the closest neighbors. I mean, he probably doesn't care anyway, he's taller in higher ground than us. Uh, but at least for example, to this neighbor, I, no, I'm not going to accuse him for anything, but it's two, 11 meters away from the closest neighbor. And then I, I saw in the document, and then uh, the other neighbors on the other side of the, the creek here is over 40 meters away. So they will not make any problems. That's why uh, the, the process was delayed by even several more months because some neighbors, but now we have the, we, we get, we got the permission again. So hopefully everything will be okay this time. Now this one here, the crater here is for the swimming pool. A swimming pool is going to be eight times uh, three and a half meters roughly. But uh, wait, oh no, wait, this is where there's uh, traffic coming. Shit, I need to move the car. Okay, I moved the car. Uh, the, the, like we are, I have to explain the, the layout here. We are like, at the end of the loop here so that people who want to go over there they go that side people who want to go over there they go that side so there will normally never be any traffic here the dude that came there he actually wanted to go over there so i'm not sure why he didn't take that side instead okay anyway um yeah th this uh, crater looks big but the swimming pool is, is not going to be that big really so it's just that i guess they have to dig the hole big enough for for the swimming pool and everything around it and then we get more space here because it looks uh, like we will have not that much space left over after the swimming pool has been put here you see i think roughly here is where the border is and then over here we have another neighbor in the future that will come here they haven't done anything here um i see there's a neighbor dog over there and that's the new the new road by the way uh i mean you know, this has taken almost two years. So last summer, they were blowing up shit over here. Lots and lots of dynamite and blowing up shit. So uh, most of it has stopped now. So that's, wait, is it? Seriously? 
Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's exactly what I mean. Like people who come that side, they will just go in there. Yeah, so, okay, good, good. I thought I need the boom car uh, one more time. But, uh, so fortunately, we managed to level up the landscape a little bit here so we can utilize it and then be like a quite steep slope. We need to secure this with fences and everything, of course. Uh, and then uh, actually, many of my neighbors here they already know me <laughs> so yeah we have some followers on that uh, that side also some followers over there supposedly and there are lots of electric cars there of course but uh, yeah so this is i'm a little bit surprised wait so we have 1000 over 1000 square meters but not that much uh space for grass well i guess i don't have to move the lawn too much now actually i think once we settle everything we will have plenty of space for grass also so Yes, the swimming pool will be here. There'll be like a little terrace or stuff here also. A house will be over there, two stories high. Uh, how much was it again? So the, 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 the ground takes up roughly 150 square meters and then times two, it'd be roughly 270. Yeah, I mean, the inside, the utilizable space is roughly 270 square meters. So uh, yeah, wait, is this some kind of plastic? Okay, okay, yeah, so they cover. Okay. Not sure. I'm not sure if I should be walking up oh, this one. Okay, maybe I should be walking here instead. Sorry for the camera shake. But you see also here, uh, versus my neighbor. Yeah, it's just the landscape goes like this. So there will be a, like a wall here or something, I guess. Uh, I, uh, we will probably put up a green hedge here. Seems like many of the neighbors, they also prefer to have some kind of hedge. So yeah, um, you know, from this perspective, it doesn't look that big. But uh, uh, from what I remember, it was like 1,050 square meters, the land. And uh, the current house in, uh, in Arnebru is only 300 square meters. So we have m more than three times more space here. Think about this, there's plenty of space here then. Yeah, it should be, it should be nice once it's up and running. So yeah, I will have a meeting with uh, uh, the entrepreneur, uh, Idehus. Soon, in about a week, I will have a meeting and then they will uh, start building more. So they say that the house will be uh, ready for moving in by October this year. Like, wow. <laughs> okay, that would be two and a half, a little bit over two years then, if everything goes as planned. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, here we see the slope and everything. Okay, nice, nice, indeed. Yeah, so anyway, a little update, let me see, I'm gonna go in behind this one. Yeah, and then uh, I have to answer very common questions. Uh, will I get, no, I will not get regular solar panels. I will get a solar roof from Skarpnes. It looks nice. Uh, no, I will not use ground uh, heat pump. I will only use air to air heat pump. No, I did not move to Thailand. Um, not as, no, I will not get a power wall. Uh, no, I will not make a passive house, a passive house. We will just make a regular house. And what else is it? Uh, yeah, I think I answer most uh, common questions now. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.